this is trip on two wheels welcome back to the channel i'm coming to you from central texas on a balmy warm day it's probably low 90s by now it's cooled off a little bit it's in the latter part of the day and i thought uh, while i had the opportunity i would do a short little video here on gas mileage how many miles per gallon do i get on the kawasaki vulcan s650 i've gone uh, it says right now about 160 miles since I last filled up and it's been several months since I tracked my my uh, miles per gallon my mileage I'm really not all that concerned because you know we all get like 73 trillion miles to the gallon on motorcycles anyway so it's not like it's a big cost factor although you do want to monitor your mileage it could be a sign that something's wrong with your with your engine or you know um, if your gas mileage is you know fluctuating wildly God knows, maybe you have a leak in the tank, I don't know. But today we're gonna gas up and see just what kind of mileage I'm getting. Now, last time I, I checked my mileage, I was getting between 54 and 52 miles per gallon. If you go online, talk to other people, go on fuely.com, uh, most folks on this bike are getting anywhere between 48 and 60 miles to the gallon with uh, probably an average of maybe 54, 52, something like that. Now, as you know, gas mileage is dependent on, uh, you know, about three zillion things. How big is the rider? Do you have a windscreen on? Do you have a aftermarket muffler? Do you have a power commander or a booster plug? You know, do you have a whole bunch of weight uh, in uh, aftermarket accessories and mods? Um, you know, uh, that and probably 40 other factors where you you know riding uphill all the way or you're riding downhill all the way uh, during the burning of that tank of fuel you know are you out on the highway are you around town is it stop and start or are you just putting through the country doing 50 55 miles uh, an hour the whole time so this last 160 miles I'd say is about uh, probably 60% on uh, Country roads doing about uh, 50 to 70. Uh, then 40% uh, was probably around town. Um, you know, but not a whole lot of start and stop traffic. Um, part of this, I had my Givi uh, hard cases on. Uh, you know, those add about 30 pounds to the bike. My mods, uh, you know, when my cases have stuff in them and everything, probably about 70 pounds of stuff that I've had, 50 to 70 pounds, something like that, that I've added to the bike. I weigh about two and a quarter, so that'll give you, uh, you know, another variable to consider. I'm, I'm a, a relatively conservative rider. I don't do a lot of jackrabbit starts. Um, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I do wind it up uh, occasionally. Probably the fastest uh, I've gone in the last 160 some odd miles is probably got it up to 85 a couple of a couple of short spurts but mainly you know um, anywhere between 30 and 65 30 and 70 miles an hour so some pretty normal riding average riding so I feel this tank of gas uh, and the mileage I'm going to calculate from filling up here in just a couple of minutes ought to be pre pretty telltale of what I'm what I'm getting uh, these days um, why I'm interested is I haven't tracked my mileage since I put on the uh, the new uh, the new uh, exhaust the uh, the rebel arrow or the arrow rebel or yeah arrow rebel <laughs> and the uh, and the booster plug so I really don't know what's uh, what that is doing to my gas mileage but um, we are now uh, about to find out so we're gonna pull up here and gas is 249 that's not too bad uh, we were paying uh, 229 a gallon a little bit ago I know whine 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 but uh, we're gonna fill up and see what we get all right take off the tank bag here Let's see how much fuel we're going to take here. Up to 2.6 gallons. I'm going to fill it up just to the bottom 
of this metal bracket that's in the tank. There's a little, that's about perfect. All right, very good. And I have put 2.925 gallons into the bike. Y'all remember that. 2.925, because I'll forget it. And let's see how many miles. Uh, 162 miles since I last put gas in it. So let's do a little math here, shall we? 162 miles divided by 2.925 gallons equals 55.4 miles to the gallon. How about that? That's a little bit more than I uh, expected. So color me impressed. Almost 55 and a half miles per gallon on this bike after I put an aftermarket exhaust on it and a booster plug. The Aero Rebel and the booster plug and 70 pounds, maybe 50 pounds at the lightest of mods on this thing. It's got the windshield, which, uh, you know, adds some weight uh, with all the, the brackets. I've got the, the Givi racks, the tank bag, which is usually full uh, for at least uh, 100 out of those 160 miles, I had uh, the Gibi bags stuffed full of stuff. I was uh, on a trip. I've got crash bars on this thing. I've got highway pegs. I've got uh, passenger pegs. I've got all sorts of stuff on this bike, as you guys probably already know. And I actually am getting a mile and a half per gallon better uh, or more than I was getting before I added all this stuff. So the bike uh, performs well and I'm getting great mileage, so all around a win-win, uh, I think, anyhow. Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, this is Trip on Two Wheels, signing off, and until next time, ride safe, ride often, and I hope you get good gas mileage. At least, uh, at least 73 trillion miles to the gallon. Crap. 232 a gallon. Oh well, story of my life. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo wings roam and the football and the beer flow all day. And your motorcycle gets 56 miles per gallon and pizza is free seven days a week.